Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back. I have another Operation Christmas Child shoebox I'd like to share, and I hope it gives you some ideas and inspiration for creating your shoeboxes. This box is for a girl in the age group of five to nine, and it is a brave theme with Princess Merida. Inside, I've decorated the lid with a cardboard cutout of Princess Merida that I got from some packaging, and I just traced the Brave logo and colored it in with Sharpie marker. She's got something to wear right on top, and this is a dress that I purchased on clearance from Walmart for $1.00. It's a medium size 7-8, and I chose this one for this box because it reminded me of Princess Merida in color. The, the background uh, reminded me of her hair color and the teal blue pattern uh, flowers reminded me of the color of her dress that she wears. So I like that one for this box. She has a doll of Princess Merida. And I love Princess Merida. She's one of my favorite princesses because she's got spunk. And I love her uh, long, wild, curly red locks. And she is a, an expert archer, which is um, why well, she's, got, she's got some archery protection on her arm and this is removable as is her skirt her bodice is painted on and her shoes are all her boots are also removable and she's got those fantastic teal blue eyes to match her teal dress i tucked in there a little cute fun novelty pen has little bells on the end of it and uh, the color is what prompted me to put it in this box. She also has a pair of shoes. I also got these at Walmart on clearance for $1. And I thought they'd go great with this outfit. And I've stuffed them full, as you can see, to make good use of the space with some other things to wear. Let's get the socks out. She's got a pair of cozy socks, says Snug Bug on them. These I got for 10 cents at Target on clearance after Christmas. And then she's got some regular socks, um, a pair of ankle socks with a little print on it. And it's got some of the colors that are in her dress. And a pair of ankle anklet socks in the teal color. Of her dress. She's also got a comb in blue and in this one I've got her underwear. She's got several pairs. I've got two pairs of girls size medium that will fit a five to nine um, on the upper end of the range and then I put one pair of size six uh, which is probably a girl size small That'll fit on the lower end of the range. This one has Princess Moana on it. And the Moana ones I got recently in a seven pack on clearance at Walmart for $2. I found a coloring book at the Dollar Tree of Disney princesses with Merida on the cover. And she's got a uh, spiral notebook, 10 cents from Walmart on clearance. And Merida has a horse um, that looks similar to, to this one. Uh, her horse is a Scottish Clydesdale, and this is a Clydesdale horse. And uh, her, her horse's name is Angus. And I got this horse um, for free. This was one of the Gantz Webkins I got for free uh, from a collector's. So she's got her horse, Angus. Let's see if he's stand up. <laughs> I put a crown in here. Um, 
and the reason I put this one is is because of the color. It's that teal blue color, and I like this particular crown because it's got that comb to put in your hair rather than the headband. Sometimes those are really difficult to fit in a shoebox, take up a lot of space. So I like this one. So, uh, you know, you can put it in different ways. It tilts. And uh, this I got at Walmart on clearance after Halloween. It was 50% off. I think this one was $1.80. I'm going to say $1.84, so that would have been, uh, what, 92 cents I paid for this. I didn't want to, there was only this one, so I didn't want to wait, you know, to see if it went down any further because it wouldn't have been there. I also put in here uh, a collapsible backpack. This is one of those stuffable backpacks. It's actually called a day pack that I got at Walmart in the... Um, camping department and it was also one of those hidden clearances it was just uh, displayed with all the regular price ones that are similar that are not marked down and when I scanned it it scanned two dollars and eighty cents I'm not going to open it 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 opens into like a small uh, backpack which is perfect for a five to nine and she'll get a lot of use out of that I also put in a face mask, you know, just in case the kids in these countries are still needing masks. And also, because a mask is helpful for if the country has a smog problem or if the child uh, has allergies or asthma, it can help during pollen season. So uh, a mask is a good thing to put in there, either a mask or a bandana. She's got in here some bouncy balls. These I got, as you can see, they've got a heart in them. Uh, I got these on clearance at Walmart after Valentine's Day. I think it was a 12-pack for $0.29. Cents. She's got a bar of soap in a soap dish. And inside the soap dish... I put uh, some lenticular valentines that move when you tilt them and a yard of ribbon. I got the ribbon on clearance after Valentine's Day for 14 cents. It had three yards in it. So it had three different patterns, one yard each. And uh, I paid 14 cents for the package. And also tucked in there is a silicone bracelet and these came out of a valentine package of eight for 24 cents i think is what these were so that's what's in her soap dish then in her little change purse it's a little metallic heart in that uh kind of an aqua blue color that's going with everything else in this shoe box this was clearanced at Walmart for 30 cents. I picked up a lot of these in, in different patterns and styles. I've packed this full as well. She's got a lip balm with Disney Princess on it that came from Walmart uh, after Christmas clearance. Uh, big packages of like a dozen for a uh, dollar or a dollar twenty-five or something like that. I put in here... Um, a little nail accessories kit. She's got a fingernail clipper, a nail brush, and some illustrated instructions on how to use the nail clippers just in case uh, she's never seen nail clippers or doesn't know how to use them. And these uh, are free. It's a free download on um, blessingsinashoebox.com. They've got quite a few free downloads, so uh, if you haven't gone there to check them out, you should do that. She's got a handful of hair elastics she can use for her own hair or her doll's hair, and a, 
an elastic headband that has the colors in her dress. And oh, she's also got a couple of um, hair barrettes, also in the colors of her dress, uh, the teal blue uh, with little glitter sparkly and these little resin stars on them. These came in a six pack uh, of different styles for a dollar on clearance from Walmart. And I also put in there a little necklace. It's a unicorn necklace, but the enameled uh, part of it is that dark teal blue color. And this was 50 cents because I got two of them for a dollar. These were one of those um, BFF necklaces where you wear one and share one, but I just put one in here. Then I've got a little um, organza bag filled with uh, little hair accessories for her doll, a brush. There's a comb in here. Whoops. A comb in here and also some little barrettes like that. These came out of one of those little pony um, sets and I had put the ponies in a two to four box last year and I didn't include these. I included a bigger brush but I didn't include the, these because I didn't want it to be a choking hazard. So I had these left over and I thought they'd be perfect for Princess Merida. She's got a, a package of crayons and a 24 pack and I just slipped it inside one of these little bunny loot bags that I got on clearance. Uh, a pack of 15 I picked up for nine cents I think from Walmart after Easter. A washcloth, a nice um, heavy duty quality washcloth and I get these from Costco in a 24 pack for um, $11.99 so they're 50 cents each and a whistle from Amazon um, bulk I think these come out to 30 cents and I'm, I keep it in the packaging for sanitary reasons it's on a lanyard I added a little Elsa um, figurine. This can go as a bag clip on her backpack and again because of the colors. I also put in there uh, another little figurine of um, what I felt looked like Angus. I think Angus has white feet like this Clydesdale but um, this looks a lot like Angus otherwise. That's a, from a Spirit Blind Bag, and I got quite a few of those um, last year on clearance at Walgreens for like, I don't know, 50 or 60 cents a piece, something like that. Her pencil uh, case is packed pretty full. I put in there some colored pencils. I purchased at Walmart during the back to school period, um, some 24 packs of colored pencils. Um, now, I don't normally buy the 24 packs because they're bulky to put in a shoe box, but they were a quarter. They didn't have any 12 packs left. I, I was able to get some 12 packs at another store, but this particular store had the 24 packs. So what I'm doing is um, dividing the packages of, or the boxes of 24 into bundles of six. So I, I get four bundles of six per box out of it. And I put quite a few of them into my um, pencil packs that I put together for the processing center. So she's got six colored pencils that are pre-sharpened, a multicolored lead pencil that's pre-sharpened, and four pre-sharpened pre -sharpened Statler pencils um, 
that I got. I got a, a real deal on these. These were a 12 pack for 10 cents and I bought a lot of them. So I've got a lot of those Statler pencils. So I included those and put those in the front pocket because they're all sharpened um, so as not to get the lead on, on anything. And then in the main compartment is where I put her uh, round tip scissors, a uh, couple of unicorn erasers. Uh, these are from Valentine's as well. And a pink eraser. Uh, highlighter. A blue, red, and black pen. And then some decorated pencils, which are not pre-sharpened. And just in a... These were from Easter, I think, last year. So these were like a penny a piece. Uh, ten pack, I think they were. Ten or twelve you got for nine cents and also she's got a glue stick and then a couple of uh, little pencil sharpeners I got those on clearance after Valentine's Day so she's got a lot in there for school and she has a toothbrush with a cap In this little plastic bag, I've tucked all Merida's accessories. She's got a, an extra outfit that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I picked this one because it's two-piece and because Merida's um, bodice is painted on. Her, her skirt is removable, but she could put the skirt on with just this top, or she could put the whole outfit on, or she could put the top on with just this skirt, which I think that looks really good. So that's why I like this two-piece one. So I got that from the Dollar Tree. And it came with shoes and a purse. The shoes don't fit Merida's feet. Merida has some big feet. <laughs> but um, the outfit does. And the little purse that went with it. So she's got a little purse. Then uh, off of the box that Merida came in, which this is, that's where this came from, I cut out the, um, her, a target, and this folds back so it could be stood up. And she has a bow and three arrows. And there are instructions in here to uh, illustrated instructions on how to use the bow and arrow. But it actually works. You can put uh, a spare bow, I mean arrow, excuse me, in, how did I put that in there? You can put your spare arrow in here. There it goes. Clips on. And then you, you load it up and you pull it back. And it, I should have had that, the target there. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can hit the target. Try one more time. No, I'm, I missed it totally. But anyway, so she's got a working bow and arrow. And I also in, found a little um, notepad with Merida on it, Princess Merida. That was from the Dollar Tree. I put in there some princess Disney princess color forms and the box was huge so I discarded the box and just cut out the Disney princesses and um, this has the hand of a child um, placing the stickers on the um, scenes that come with this and uh, so, it, you know, these are color forms, so these, these are uh, reusable uh, stickers. So one of the stickers uh, is Princess Merida. This is a package of stickers. And then the scenes are, you know, like this. That's on this side. So it has different scenes that you can place all the stickers on, so I included that. 
Then in the very bottom of the box are more stickers, and these are just regular Disney Princess stickers. I figured this box could use some extra real stickers since the color forms um, are really only for use with, with these. One of the last items in the box is a Target. Now I couldn't include, obviously, a real bow and arrow. So I found this Target and I thought, well, that would be fun in there. Now, it, the Target, uh, I got this at the Dollar Tree, the Target came nice and flat. It did not have these bulges in it, but I folded it in half to fit it in the box. So I think it will probably straighten out with some time, but oops, you just throw these on there and I just threw one across the room. But yeah, it's got, the, the balls have this Velcro on it. So I thought that that would be fun. And let's see in here, I forgot to show you her a um, little package of emery boards. I got these on clearance at Walmart after Christmas for nine cents, I think. And I'm leaving them in this, this is a, a, a nice heavy duty vinyl package. So I'm, I'm just leaving them in here. And so she's got that. And the very last thing in here is also from Merida's uh, packaging. And it has a little like slogan about Princess Merida in four different languages. It says, bow clad and brave, you can make all your dreams come true. And then it shows a picture of the little girl um, using the bow on the target. So that concludes my five to nine girl, brave Princess Merida shoebox. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found some ideas and inspiration for your shoeboxes. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.